it's time to take a look at the Zoom Spiridon family, which got started in 1997 with this unbelievable and underrated runner known as the Zoom Spiridon. This shoe was endorsed by Michael Johnson, and we all remember Michael Johnson from the Atlanta Olympics in 96. He wore the golden spikes and won a bunch of gold medals. Go on YouTube and search for Spiridon Michael Johnson, and you're definitely gonna laugh at some of the commercials that came out for this shoe. So this shoe was really one of the first running shoes to feature Zoom Air. Nike Air got its start in 1979 with the Tailwind. We got Visible Air in 1987 with the Air Max. In 97, we got Full Air from heel to toe. But in 95, we got Zoom Air in addition to Max Air. So while the air bubble was growing from invisible to visible to full air, Nike introduced us to Zoom Air. And Nike started making a bunch of different types of air. There was Zoom Air, there was Tuned Air, there was Max Air, there was Total Air. For a while, all of those things were abbreviated on the back of the shoe, but these Spiridons happened just before that, and they're really the first big running shoe to feature Zoom Air. Come have a look at this OG pair. The tag actually says 96 because that's when they were manufactured, but they didn't hit the market until 1997. The color scheme is very familiar to another 1997 running shoe, the Air Max, the first shoe to feature full visible air. You can see that this shoe is silver, red, black, and white, just like the colorway of the Air Max 97. Notice the gold foil swoosh on there. It's a reddish gold tint, and that's one of the things that make this shoe super duper iconic. In addition to, of course, the mesh upper and then the speed lacing system. You gotta love this pair of kicks. And it originally came out in a few colors, but this silver and red edition is really what's known as the OG color. We've done some talking about the Air Max 97. I think we've got to break it out. This is an original pair from 1997. It's one of my favorite shoes in the collection because the Air Max 97 is my all-time favorite pair of kicks. Come over here and have a look at the visible air bubble on this shoe, and you'll notice that it goes heel to toe, and then when you look over here on the outsole, it's gonna have different PSIs, depending on the pounds per square inch, in the different parts of the shoe. This shoe is an Air Max because it features a visible air bubble. It's also sort of a total Air Max because the air goes totally from heel to toe. It's also got tuned air in there with those PSIs, but of course this doesn't have zoom air. This has zoom air, but it's crazy how between this shoe and the Spiridon, you can sort of talk about all the different types of Nike Air that were made famous in the late 1990s. From the silver and red OG pair, let's look at a second colorway. These are the blue ones. I bought this pair at Camarillo Nike Outlet way back in the day, and they had racks and racks of this colorway and of the retro version of the OG red color that we just looked at. They were $49.99, and it's one of those shoes that I just kick myself for not having bought more of. I just picked up the one. I didn't pick up the other color because I already had the OG. And like I said, I'm like, man, I wish I could go back in time and buy that shoe again. Let's have a look at the second generation Zoom Spiridon. And in true Nike fashion, they just called it the Zoom Spiridon, the same as the first shoe. And I really wish that they would be more clear about the shoes that they're releasing and not release two totally different shoes and call them the same name. This shoe is absolutely amazing. It's so lightweight and it came out around the turn of the millennium. This particular colorway is from 2003. I love that it's silver, red, white, and black, just like the OG Spiridons and just like the Air Max 97. When this shoe came out, it was actually one of the first Nike ID shoes and people were able to design them. I wanna show you some of the cool features about this shoe up close. Have a look at the caged air bubble at the back. So that's visible Zoom Air. Zoom Air got started in 1995 as a basketball shoe with the Air Go LWP. And Zoom Air is different than Max Air because it's more responsive. And you're gonna notice inside here, there's little tensiles of fabric that hold the top and the bottom of the air bubble together. And that makes for a real responsive feel and a different springy cushioning than what you usually got with Max Air. This second edition Spiridon has never been retroed and it would be such a huge hit. My dad was a runner back in the day and he ran 10 marathons. This shoe released after his running days when my dad was over 50 and 
he likes to wear this shoe casually around the house. He actually loves it because it's so lightweight, breathable, and he loves the all mesh upper. Let's have a look at a couple other shoes in the Spiridon family. An Air Force One inspired by the Spiridon, and then lastly, the Zoom Dawn, and Dawn is short for Spiridon. Come over and have a look at this Air Force One. In 2007, to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Air Force One, Nike released a whole bunch of different Air Force Ones that are inspired by other shoes. This shoe is inspired by the OG Spiridon. I'm gonna grab one and bring it over here, and we'll sort of stack them on top of one another. Look at how those shoes match up next to one another. The details on them are absolutely amazing. And back at this time in 2007, when Nike was celebrating the Air Force One and releasing all sorts of different shoes, they didn't do anything to promote the Air Force One as the Spiridon edition. They just simply released the shoe. And I used to go to Nike towns and see different Air Force Ones inspired by different shoes. And I was always mesmerized that Nike never bothered to put the shoes together and to tell the stories. Nowadays, Nike's been retroing a lot of basketball shoes, and they've been making Air Force Ones that go along with those basketball shoes. We've seen some Pennies, some Gary Paytons, Air Raids, Air Bacons. Most recently, a pair of Tech Challenge 2s came out, and now Nike's really keen on telling the stories. And I think that that's absolutely essential for sneakerheads. You gotta know what shoes you're buying, and Nike's the best people to be able to point it out. So I'm glad they're doing that now. I want to have a look at the next pair, the last pair in the Spiridon family. It's known as the Zoom Dawn, and it's terrible. I'm not going to lie to you, this shoe is terrible. It's a basketball edition of the Spiridon. Again, Nike did very little to link up this shoe with the original Spiridon. This pair came out in 2010. They hit the outlets everywhere. You can see right away that the colorway, the material, it's very, very similar to the Spiridon. I bought this pair of shoes on eBay because I felt like it needed to go with the Spiridon family and I gotta show you what this seller did. It's my biggest pet peeve buying on eBay. He just took the box, wrapped some tape around it and threw it in the mail. And I hate when people do this. Like I hate it, hate it, hate it. You have to double box your shoes when you sell them on eBay, especially, especially collectible ones. Believe it or not, I got a pair of fives from the Fear Pack. It's like a $500 shoe and the dude just taped it up with priority mail and threw it in the mail. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed checking out the Spiridon family, comparing it with the other Air Max from 1997. There's just one more shoe that I got to break out from the same era as the Air Max 97 and the Spiridon, and that is the Talaria. Here's another OG colorway. There were three running shoes that came out in 1997. The Air Max 97 is the most popular, the Spiridon would be the second most popular, and the Zoom Talaria would be the third most popular. When you think of Talaria and Nike, you probably think of soccer shoes or football boots because there's Mercurial Talarias, Talaria 365, so on and so forth. But way back in the late 90s, Talaria was a Zoom Air running shoe and it was one of the first Zoom Air running shoes. Nike made an Air Force One inspired by this Talaria around 07 when they were celebrating the Air Force One. We're gonna do another video breaking down Air Force Ones inspired by other shoes and I can't wait to do that for you. Anyway, the family of 97s and Spiridons.